Oh, come on up, man. You can, you can express that. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. You can share your heart. Go ahead. You think that it's the wrong way to do it? I grew up in the church like yeah. since I was really little, and I think that what you're saying about one God and a loving God and going to heaven, I think that, that that's all probably true. But I bet that 99% of the people out here are getting so frustrated with you and so upset with you and so angry at God because of you. They're already angry at God. The Bible says they're haters of God. You're breaking my heart because I don't think that you're portraying the kind of God that people need and the kind of God that is real. What kind of God do people need? People need the kind of God who offers forgiveness and love. And I think that you're offering judgment. Is God going to judge people? Of course he is. Oh, whoa, 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 wait a but, second. But you're not. I'm not judging them. I'm asking it sure questions. Se- it sure seems like, can I just say something without you interrupting me? Mm-hmm. I am just listening to this. I'm just so near tears and my heart is beating so fast yeah. because I think that you're doing the opposite of what you're wanting to do. Mm. And that's so just when, breaking my heart so because I, I, I think I think that you and I probably believe the same thing. But what you need to do is go out into the world and live your message and people will come to Jesus. It's not about debating with them and proving them wrong and yeah. telling them that they're bad people. Do you think they are wrong? So you're breaking you my heart. Can I talk now? No. Can I talk now? No. Yeah. Do you think they're wrong if they don't believe in Jesus? I do. And do you think that if they die in their sins without Jesus Christ, where do you think they'll go? I think they'll go to hell. And you don't care enough to tell them now? Of course I do. Then why don't you? I do, but I do it through my life. I do it the way that Jesus did it, not the way that you did it. Jesus By didn't ever preach? Fingers. Huh? Jesus didn't ever preach? Of course he preached, but he, he, didn't, preach? he didn't debate. You're right, because they just sat and listened because he was a rabbi. Have you ever heard the Sermon on the Mount? Of course I have. Jesus said, you've heard it said of old, thou shalt not commit adultery, but I say if you look with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. He wasn't being friends, he wasn't living his life, he was proclaiming you must repent. Jeremiah did it, Isaiah did it, John the Baptist did it, Jesus did it, Paul did it, Peter did it. Everybody throughout the course of history has done that because we're so concerned they're going to die tonight. Somebody from this fair might drive home tonight and die, and I don't want them to go to hell. I don't have time to be friends with everybody, but we do have time to preach to everybody. Do you preach to people and help them see their plight? I try to live just like Jesus did. I, it's just not going to help them. But yes, it is. The Bible says, how will they know if nobody preaches to them? It's Romans 10. And how will somebody preach to them unless they don't get sent? My point is that you're wasting your time because 99% you know? of the and people... it's irrelevant. Who, who is so angry with him? Okay. You know what? It doesn't matter. That's pragmatism. The question is, what are we commanded to go and do? And we are go- called to go and preach the gospel and of live repentance. It. And live it. Are you saying I don't live it? No, I'm not saying that you don't live okay, it. I'm I just live saying... it, and I'm here proclaiming it because these people need to hear the good news of salvation. But they won't hear the good news until they understand the bad news. It's like a doctor who would go out into the street and befriend people because he actually knows that they have cancer, but never tells them and hopes to one day lure them into the hospital. We want to go out and say, you've got a disease, you've got an illness. A doctor who never tells the patient he's sick is not a good doctor. How, many, how, how long have you been doing this? It's really irrelevant, and I'll tell no, you what else not. is irrelevant. How many people have been saved by it? That's what I'm wondering. It's irrelevant. No, the it's question not. is, what is right? So you would, if somebody was in a burning building, you would just befriend them. You wouldn't call out to them, get out, the house is on fire. You wouldn't do that for them? No, that's not what you're doing. What you're doing is saying, you're in a house that's burning down. That's what you're doing. Exactly, they are. That's all you're doing. That doesn't do any good either. Have you not heard me preach the cross? Have you not heard me talk about Jesus Christ, the kind God dying to save people from their sins? Maybe I haven't been here long enough, but it doesn't seem like you've gotten that far because you're all about the judgment. You're right, because the fellow that I was talking to is self-righteous and he thinks he's a good person. I'm trying to plead with him. You're not good. See yourself the way the law shows you that you are in your true state. The law was given to hold up to people as a mirror so that they could see themselves the way God sees them. How does God see the people who are lawbreakers? He loves them. He does, but he's also angry at them. You're right. And he demonstrated his... I don't think that is. The Bible says that God's wrath abides upon humankind, that we are enemies of God in our mind through wicked works. And his cup of wrath is filling up drip by drip, and on the day of judgment, he's going to pour it out and people will go to hell. Don't you want to warn them now? I'm just, I'm not a fire and brimstone kind of person. I'm not either. It sounds like it. Is there fire and brimstone? And you're not kind enough to tell them about it? You're not kind enough to warn them about it? See, now you're judging me. I'm asking you a question. <laughs> sort of like you were judging me a moment ago. 
Okay. It's just, it's just, it's just that it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart to hear this because this doesn't make people want to accept the gospel. This isn't. This, I don't. I just don't think. You don't that think this is, this is the gospel? It doesn't make people want to accept it, and I, I just don't think that this is the way that Jesus went about it.